Welcome to my channel, Steve-O the Window Cleaner. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about scrapers. So this is the ultimate Steve-O scraper review. Now, for this review, I'm only reviewing three different razors, okay? The reason I'm only reviewing three different razors is because these ones I feel like are all different and all three are very, very good razors. And so I don't really feel like any of these are bad, but I wanna show you all three and the differences between the three so that you can decide better which razor is right for you. Also, stick around to the end of the video and I got a cool little giveaway. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment below and share. Do all the magical things. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about first is the Sorbo Scraper. We've seen a lot of videos about these recently, so I wanna shine a little bit more light on them and just give you a little more info about them. I've been using them for the past about, eh, pretty much the whole summer. And um, they're really, really nice. It's very different. I never really thought about getting a Sorbo Scraper and then did, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So here is the Sorbo Scraper. So the Sorbo Scraper can actually come in two different ways. One of them goes side to side as far as the handle goes like that. And then you can also buy one that goes up and down. So the reason why that is, is because you cannot turn this part at all. So you either decide whether you want side to side or up and down. I personally like the side to side one because I always hold my razor like this. So that gives me a tight fill on the razor and it gives me a little bit of some play with some funky angles when using it on a pole like this. So what's some of the different things about this? This part right here is welded on here. So this is very different than most razors that you see that are all plastic. So this metal is welded. And then basically your razor, let me just get this out, sits in that slot there, okay? So it just sits there in that slot. And then with this, that is the inside part that holds the um, razor in there. And then basically, it's just like anything else, right? The razor just holds on those three dots. You close it up and put it back in. The one really important thing about this though is that with these blades and with this, they will rust if you do not dry them off daily. So every day I use this, I will take this out, open it back up, and you can tell on some of that in there that, um, I haven't done that every day. It's hard to remember. So if you're a person that really takes good care of your tools, this might be the right razor for you. But you just get it in those three slots up there. So you see quite a bit of razor coming out the top there. And then you just put it back in here. Okay, now your main question right now is gonna be, well, will that fall out? I haven't had it fall out yet, so I can't attest to that, but I have not, felt, have not had it fall out. It's been a very tight fit on both of these. Um, but overall, the passing on the glass with this is very, very nice. It's very, very smooth. Be a little bit extra careful with it because you have a little bit more length coming out of the top of these. It can chip part of the scraper off. We've all done that. Um, so just be careful with that. So one other thing with the Sorbo scraper is it comes in this holster, okay? So this holster, you can just buckle that onto your belt, unbuckle there, put it on your belt. And then to release it, just release the strap there. There's a, just a snap right there. You release that and boom. You can just bring your, your scraper in and out of the holster like that. Inside there, if you can see it in the light, it has like a little brass piece there that goes all the way down so you don't cut through that holster at all. So very, very nice there. Very, very different than most other holsters, but works very well. Most of the time that I have been using this, I'm so used to the Unger scraper holster that this actually does work. Be careful, I did have it fall out a couple of times, but overall it holds pretty well. You gotta give a pretty good push there to take it off. So that's another way you could hold it as well if you wanted to. So if we're uh, going to the Unger holster there, let's talk about the Unger scraper. Now, the Unger Scraper is probably the most well-known scraper. I did a video on this, I would have to say, almost five to six years ago. But you can see it is very heavily used. This is my most used scraper. I've gone through about probably four of them in that amount of time. Um, usually what breaks is just either something right in here. Um, I don't know. It's kind of random what will break on these. A lot of the time, 
the actual piece in here that holds that blade in, that little corner piece right there, that will break off allowing your this plastic piece to go in and out of the scraper. The really cool thing is though, is that you can actually just buy that plastic piece by itself. You do not have to buy a whole new razor and it costs like a dollar fifty. So I'll put that in the uh, links below if you want to check that out. But as you can see here, one of the biggest differences between this razor and let's say a Sorbo razor is the amount of razor that comes out at the top there. So you can see this almost like doubles or triples the amount. I would have to say the one downfall about these razors that I've always noticed is that for some reason, no matter if it's a fresh blade or not, it does miss a either like a chunk of it, like in the middle, or it misses lines. I just always had that. I use the Unger uh, stainless steel blades with this. Overall, what I do is I just go over the window twice. Um, you know, it's never stopped me from finishing the job, but that is something I'd love to see from it that would be better. But overall, this is kind of the industry standard for scrapers is this scraper. So if you want a good quality scraper that has a good grip to it, um, and you know, and I think the biggest thing that makes this a really big seller is their holster. Um, this is missing the back plate in it, so this is an older one. But this makes it super, super easy to use. So when you're on a ladder and you have this on your belt, you can just pop it out and it's ready to go. You don't have to have a second hand taking the top off. So you can just have it ready to go in that holster. At least that's the way I do it. I don't put the cap back on and then put it in here. I just have the cap off and it works out really, really nice. Another thing with the back here, this holds onto your belt. I do always have to duct tape this onto my belt because it eventually starts falling off and easily comes off. But that is the Unger Ninja Scraper and um, you know, pretty much is the industry standard for most people as far as the scraper that they buy and they're probably the top one that we suggest. So this is a very different scraper. I think, I think T-Squeegee uses this scraper a lot and that's where I got the idea to buy this. Uh, if you, if I'm wrong, buddy, tell me in the comments. So what's so cool about this scraper is that it's different than these two scrapers. The only other scraper that I can think is somewhat like this is the uh, Mormon scraper, but I really didn't want to do a review on that because that looks like a kid's toy, unfortunately. Um, so this is the Triumph Z40, okay? And what's really cool about this is you just press this little thing right here and that slides down and that will show the amount of razor you have. Now, compare that amount of razor once again to the amount of razor that's on the Sorbo razor as far as the blade that comes out. It's quite different. It's very, very short, but it works very, very well in the glass. I haven't used this a whole lot. I actually just got a couple days ago, so I'm only using it on a couple of jobs. As you can see, it's not very dirty, but I was very, very impressed by it. Very, very light touch with it is all you need. You do not need to go hard with that. And that's with all razors. Very, very light touch overall. But that is the Triumph C40 razor. Very, very nice. Has the same thing as far as with the um, Unger razors and that you push out the side there and then you pull out this little thing from the side over here. And that's it as far as how to replace your razors. I always suggest getting the company brand of razors that you buy. So if you buy a Triumph scraper, buy Triumph replacement blades. If you buy an Unger scraper, buy Unger replacement blades. If you buy a Sorbo, you're gonna have to buy Sorbo replacement blades. So overall, three really good scrapers, right? It just strictly depends on what you want out of a scraper. If you want versatility and just really easiness of pulling it from your belt, you're gonna choose this one. If you want something that you can just hold in a loop on your belt, and is really, really easy to use as well, you might choose this one. If you're going for quality blading of the glass, you're gonna go for the Sorbo scraper. It does have the best quality as far as removing all the debris from the glass within one stroke. So that's pretty cool about that. So that's it as far as my thoughts on these three scrapers. There's not a lot you can say about scrapers. I mean, you know, overall we're just, you know, a lot of us more worry about scratching the glass more than anything else. So. Let's get on to our fun, fun giveaway for today. This is going to be something a little bit different than I do. It's gonna be a 48 hour giveaway. So this giveaway is gonna go for 48 hours. Uh, it's gonna start when this video posts and then end 48 hours later, okay? So this giveaway is going to be with this Sorbo um, Quicksilver Blue Channel. This is a special edition. 
And then you're also going to get not this handle, but you can get the same handle in blue. So I'll put a little picture up here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm going to do a giveaway on this. Um, it's going to be it's hosted by Window Clean Resource. So big thank you to them. So windowcleaner.com. And uh, they're going to be giving away one of these Sorbo squeegees. But ever since I did a video and I had one of these in, people have been asking for them. I'm not sure if they'll ever be for sale for sure, but um, we do have some, so we're going to be giving some of those away. So if you want to win one of these Quicksilver channels with this blue, with the Sorbo rubber and the Sorbo wide body blue handle, just go to, in the description, there's going to be a link to a Gleam competition. It always says Gleam in it, okay? Go to that um, and enter the competition. All you have to do is visit my YouTube channel. And I ask also that you like the video, comment it on the video, and subscribe if you're not already. So that is it as far as that goes. And uh, that is my ultimate scraper review. Make sure to go check out all these scrapers in the links below if you're interested in buying one. And uh, remember, if you guys ever need tools or supply, feel free to reach out to me. And I uh, hope you've all had a great summer. And uh, I know it's been one hell of a year, but uh, I'll be happy when it's over. That's for sure. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.